We got another question from Dan Meenan. Part of my problem is uh, not really knowing what my serve motion looks like. I don't really have someone who can video me while I'm serving and I'm not sure if I would be able to pinpoint accurately where the error errors are in my motion if I had video. Err. So crossing the street. Really important, you gotta use video. And it sounds like you're saying you don't have somebody use video. Um, you can use your phone. Great uh, thing, you, uh, you, great equipment you can use to, to video yourself. You can use anything. So don't feel like you have to have like someone out there shooting. I've tons of times I've I've set up. I mean, boom, phone is set up. I could go out and serve, and this is exactly what you can do. You can put it up against a basket. You can stack a chair. I I've done the weirdest things to get my phone to videotape. You setting up your iPhone there, no excuses. You can use anything to set up your iPhone to get video. In today's age, everyone has a camera, and it doesn't have to be some crazy camera. If you have an iPhone or any phone these days, you can shoot a little video, so no excuses on the video front. Now, when it comes down to analyzing yourself, I can see how that could be an issue with a lot of players because they don't know what to focus on. So my first recommendation is go to YouTube and watch one of uh, our videos where we analyze exactly what type of um, serve like Roger Federer when we do a comparison about what are the most important things or what are the, the highlight things that let's say Roger Federer or any good server does. You can go to Essential Tennis, just type in serve review and you're going to find one of our videos where we go through that. Once you've gone through that, the key of going through that is figuring out what are the big chunks, what are the most important things that you need to like look for and then um, <coughs> excuse me. If you have an app like Coach's Eye, you can put it side by side. But let's say you don't have an app like Coach's Eye. No problem. Simply take one of the videos, put it on your computer screen, and then take the other and open up there. Problem solved. Next, you want to start slowly going through your motion. So there's different phases. If you watch the review, I'm sure like myself or Ian or one of the other uh, essential tennis me members like Megan or, or Kirby, we're going to show you what's important. We're going to start saying, okay, look at the take back and then you do the exact same thing we're doing. You're looking at the pros take back and then you're looking at your take back. Now, you don't have to have everything the exact same, but you have to have the fundamentals. And generally the fundamentals are gonna be how you're getting your racket up. How you're, are you getting to a good trophy position? Are you having a great racket drop? Are you moving your racket up on edge and pronating through and having a good follow through? Those are generally the big chunks. And that's the things you want to focus on. Once you identify, hey, what big chunk do I not do or doesn't look exactly like the pros, um, as long as it's a fundamental thing, then you go to work on it. You start doing slow shadows and mimicking it and videoing those slow shadows, making sure that you're, you're getting closer to uh, having something that looks like the pros. Okay, so this is how you would A, use your camera to video, super important, B, analyze your strokes so at home you can start making those improvements. Uh, definitely check out a ton of videos where we, we do exactly this for you. So you can almost like use our uh, video analysis of a serve as a cheat sheet, okay? So go home, video, get it done. I just wanna thank you, no really thank you for watching. So if you have any burning questions or anything on your mind about tennis, leave it in the comments below and we'll get to it. So have a great day and play some great tennis.